All right, YouTube, listen up, listen good, because I'm spitting some truth at you right now that I've been thinking about for a long time, been honing it down. It's all about the moods, okay? The mood swings, you don't know why? Well, I'm going to tell you. Right now, 8th of September, 2017, 20 past 10 in the morning. Men... We are at <laughs> rock bottom. We are at the lowest of the low. Today, we're down. We're going to go down for the next two hours. But it's quite nice, actually, when you're reaching your rock bottom. It's actually quite a good place to be because you're like, oh, yeah, I've just got two hours left and things will start getting better. Well, actually... Uh, we've got a few more days to go for the month one at the bottom. And then we've got a few more month days to go until we're at the bottom of our year, of the two-year one. So everything's in twos. So it's two days, two months, two years. You know what I'm talking about? Check out my other videos because I've drawn a picture and it should make it obvious. But, you know, life is like a wave. This is our soul. This is stuff on the soul level. And the interesting thing is, is that men, as men are on the wave going down the bottom, women are doing the opposite. And then we cross, and we crisscross, and they're up, and we're down, and we're up, and they're down. And that's because we should be looking after each other, you know, when we're up and down, instead of squabbling with each other and trying to... You know, when you're having a mood with your girlfriend, and you're like, why are you such a moody cow, you know? And then she's like, well, what were you like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you were a moody bugger. So, you know, if we understood. So, I'm saying, I finally, you know, last year I sort of realised there's this two month thing. And then I thought, yeah, there's more to it as well. Because, obviously, other things can affect your mood. Like, you could lose your job, and that's going to put you in a bad mood. Well, it might not. Uh, you know, so... There are clearly other things which affect your mood, but there's this wave that we're riding that we just can't control and we don't know, but it's real. So, right now, so I finally worked out, pretty certain about this, is that for the two day mood swings, uh, it's a 12 midday, whatever the midday is, because it could be between 12 and 1 o'clock, because uh, obviously different time zones. But wherever you are in the world is your time zone, that's where you are. Around that time, midday is when you'll either be at your peak or you'll be at your trough. Right. Now uh, we're just past the full moon and we've got a few more days until the moon is half, half going. So when it when the moon is coming it looks like a comma. Uh, that's a Norwegian thing because coming in Norwegian is comma. <laughs> and so comma, comma. Right, so when so when it's like a C, that's not like a comma. Just check I'm getting this right. Um, so when it's like a C in the sky which is what we're coming to now after the full moon that is when the peaks of the two monthly mood swings occurs so what we're coming to this peak now men are at the lowest and women at the highest so right today right now women are high in their day mood they're high in their month mood about to reach the peak, and they're high in the years. And I've been thinking about this, I'm pretty sure that the peak for the two-year month, uh, two-year mood swings is in the September equinox. Okay, I can, I'm, I could discuss it, you can think about it, you can ask me why it's then, think about it for yourself, look at previous years, how you've been, you know, it makes sense. So here we are, odd year, September, and women are about to hit their peak. So in a few days, women will be at the peak of their month, and then they'll start going down. Now, 
they won't be up again for another two months which will be in November and by that time their yearly mood will have gone down a bit so they're not going to be as up as they are right now and it's always you know once you've reached your peak as soon as you start to you start to notice hang on you know you've been used to going up and you're like hang on I'm going down now you notice it and you'll try and attribute it to things in your life and what I'm saying is things in your life will affect your mood but there's a mood swing going on that nobody can stop it is what it is it keeps things fresh it keeps things interesting I'd much rather have it than not have it and I'd much rather know about it than not know about it so I'm very good to know about it the other thing that I'm glad to know about and it's like a weight off my shoulders is that women are the dominant sex species at least definitely while we're on this physical earth they are spiritually stronger spiritually more powerful that makes them more powerful men have used their physical advantage to suppress women men have tried to be the boss and it's like a big weight on the shoulders and, and women are absolutely right when they say you know all throughout history men have been the boss and and the world has gone to shit you know we're practically killing our planet so it's a big weight off the old shoulders I tell you so if you're walking around thinking that men are the boss and you're a man it's a weight on your shoulders you do not want or need you want to it's the truth, right? Women are the boss. It's just that truth, and you can feel it if you want it. And women, if you're walking around thinking that men are the boss, well, now you're sort of shoving away your own responsibility onto others, which isn't a good thing either. So this is why getting the truth makes it a difference to your life, to your every second of your life. Because your belief system affects everything. You, you know, you can sit there with a wrong belief system and that can depress you. you sit there with the right belief system, you, you'll talk to God. Because, you know, God's involved here massively, <laughs> of course. Right, so, yeah, I hope, I hope, uh, hope you've got that. I hope I've been able to communicate what I meant. And, um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.